In this video, we are going to go over a number of methods to hang your hand-painted backdrops. From basic light stands to using auto poles, grip arms, center mounted, multiple clamps, and a chain background system. For the background pole method, you will need two light stands, a telescoping background pole, and two A clamps. Simply extend your pole to the desired length, put it through your background core, and then place it on two light stands and tighten it down. Or with your background pole already mounted to two light stands, remove one end and slide your background on the support bar, using two people if needed. Then raise your backdrop to the desired height. Once rolled down, simply clamp your background support bar using spring clamps to prevent it from rolling off the core after you have it at your desired height. And for safety, we recommend using sandbags. You can also use auto poles and two super clamps with pins or two J hooks and a telescoping crossbar to hang your light stands. First, you're going to want to make sure the distance of your auto poles is the correct width of your crossbar. Make sure your auto poles are secure and level. If you're working solo, hook your backdrop to one end, and then using a ladder, mount the other end, and then lock both ends down. For added safety, we recommend using two people and doing it together. Use J-hooks to be compatible with any crossbar, and you can just walk your backdrop up and place it on the hooks. Just clamp the crossbar to the J-hooks to prevent spinning, and then clamp the backdrop to the crossbar. You can also use two grip arms, two grip heads, two A-clamps, and two light stands. Mount your grip arms at 90 degrees. If the T-handle on the grip head faces away from you, you want the grip arm to your left so it self-tightens. Then slide one end of the background over one arm, and then slide the other arm into the background. Once rolled down, simply clamp your background so gravity prevents it from spinning. Another popular method to hang in canvas backdrops is a single clamp in the middle. You'll need a grip head, a supervisor clamp, a mini grip arm, and a light stand. Simply mount the arm to your stand in a grip head with the weight in the direction it will self-tighten and only out about five inches. Then put in a supervisor style clamp in the end of the grip arm. Simply put your background into the clamp. It's best to position the backdrop forward enough in the clamp to avoid divots from it pinching too far forward. You can do this with a grip head and a clamp as well, but the backdrop has a greater risk of falling or getting a divot where the clamp pinches. It's also critical to sandbag your light stand if using this method. Here are other orientations to center mount as well. For the multiple clamp method, you will need a 1.5 to 2 inch pole that is perfectly straight, two light stands, two convy or super clamps, and a 6 inch clamp for every 12 inches or 30 centimeters. For this, we recommend rolling your entire backdrop out on the ground, and then placing a clamp every 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Then you can mount it to two light stands using convy clamps to secure the bar. For the paper drive shaft method, you will need a paper drive shaft, mounts for light stands, or mounts for convy or super clamps. Insert the brackets into the core. Then mount it to two light stands, auto poles, or a bracket that allows you to mount multiple backdrops. 
and you can easily raise and lower your backdrop with a chain so you don't need to clamp it. Remember to always prioritize safety by securing your light stands with sandbags and ensuring your backdrop is properly clamped to prevent it from rolling off the core. Also, some methods will work better with smaller backdrops versus larger, heavier ones. With the right mounting method, you can achieve the perfect style for your photography or video project. Check out our other videos for more gravity backdrop tips. See you next time.